Throughout this video, just keep in mind that the edges of jingles are sharp. Don't cut yourself. Hey, it's me. So today, as you can tell from the title, this is the last installment for the Jingle Dress Chronicles series where I show you how to attach your jingle cones to your dress. Quick disclaimer that I'll be going in the beginning of every video. Jingle dress dancing is a closed practice only for native peoples indigenous to the North American continent. If you are non-native, you are welcome to watch these videos for entertainment or for education, but I ask that you do not engage in jingle dress dancing or replicate a jingle dress as it is a closed practice. Okay, now, if you strung your cones and already attached them to your dress, then you don't need this video. But if you're watching this series before getting started um, on your jingle dress, let me restate here that there are two ways to attach cones to your dress. Option one is before you sew your dress together, and option two is after you sew your dress together. The upside of option one is it is faster to attach the cones. The downside is it is more difficult to sew the dress together. The upside of option two is it is easier to sew the dress together. And the downside is it takes more time and effort to attach the cones. Today's video is going to show you option two, which should also be especially helpful for those of you who may have bought your dress from a craft worker without any jingles attached. But if you are interested in option one, I will link a video in the description about stringing jingles. Okay, so the materials that you're gonna need for this video are of course your dress and your cones. You'll also need some pliers. Um, I suggest needle nose or flat pliers. Um, I would show you my needle nose, but I don't can't seem to find them but I have these. I also have these on standby um, should I need them. Optional are some basic tweezers or some jewelry pliers. I also suggest something for your hands to ease the stress on them for this project. Earlier in this series, I mentioned uh, work gloves from the hardware store. Um, or some type of stress glove that you typically get at craft stores, usually in the quilting section or the crochet uh, knitting section. Um, but when I went back to my original video from 2018, where I attached jingles for the first time, um, I just used a washcloth to basically pad the pliers for my hands. So. I think 2018 Chelsea was kind of a genius about this and that's what I'm going to use today. <laughs> but a quick note on that video. So for research purposes, I went back to my original video about attaching um, jingle cones to a dress and <laughs> it's honestly so cringy. I, um, I kind of hate my original videos <laughs> like all of those really early ones but i'm pretty sure every youtuber feels that way about their channel they all hate their early videos um so yeah in addition like not only is it kind of cringy but there's a much easier way to do it than unrolling the whole cone so Okay, I want to say one more thing before we get started. In the description for this video, I'm putting a link to a list of hand exercises to ease pain and stress from your hands. I highly suggest doing these exercises and I especially suggest taking breaks and not pushing through hand pain. Um, even some of you tough res aunties out there who think you don't need this junk, from one res auntie to another, we need to take care of our hands if we plan on craft working into our elder years, okay? So just say no to arthritis. In 2018, I slightly unrolled each jingle with pliers before placing the tab inside the jingle, then rolling it back shut 
and then I clamped it. I won't say that's not an option because it is, especially if you find that today's method doesn't work for you. Um, when you pry the jingle open, be careful not to dent the jingle with your pliers. The upside for this method is there's less fiddling with the tab, but the downside is there's more fiddling with the jingle. And this method takes twice as long. So today we're going to take each jingle, insert our pliers into the cone, feed the tab through the hole, and pull the tab through with the pliers. Clamp the top of the jingle, about a quarter inch or a half inch of the top. I like to double clamp each side of the jingle to make sure the entire top is flat. However, sometimes the jingles are rolled too tightly for the tab to fit through the opening. That's when I'll take the pliers and basically jam them into the top of the cone, trying to spread the top of the cone as much as possible without unrolling it too much. Then you'll follow the same basic steps we did before, inserting the pliers, inserting the tab, but before you clamp the cone, make sure the cone is tightly rolled again if it happened to unroll at all. Sometimes the cones are too narrow for the pliers to spread open enough to grasp the end of the tab, so that's when tweezers can be helpful. Okay, can I just say that these pliers right here are actually freaking magic? Because once you push down a little, then they just lock. Let me show you real quick. So then I take these pliers and then I put them on here and after I squeeze um, enough, I guess, after enough squeezing, then it's just going to just lock and then clamp with like no effort. And then I press this button and it releases. But I still like to take these and clamp the edges. And yeah. If you're ever trying to remove a cone, you can insert your pliers into the cone and then pry open the clamped area. If this doesn't work, then grasp the outer edge of the cone with your pliers and carefully pry it open enough that you can unroll the rest by hand. Be careful not to dent the cone. All right, so now that your dress is all done, the next step is to follow your tribe's traditions in preparing your dress. For example, Ojibwe offer food to feed the dress's spirit, um, and then it's time to dance. So, I hope that this series was helpful for you and helpful for the rest of you. Um, <laughs> I tried to cover everything that I could think of, but if I missed anything or if you have any extras, feel free to share any tips and tricks that you have in the comments. Um, and then if I have any future videos about the jingle dress, I will add them to this series. Until next time, Bama P. Gladman.